Hello everybody, it's Baldrick here. In today's episode, I'll be talking to you about this mod for GTA 4. This is the normal GTA 4 without any mods at all, and it just looks normal. And it is on maximum graphical settings on the PC, so you can't get any better draw distance or anything than this, and you can't get any higher anti-aliasing or graphics. So as you can see I'm just driving along the beach. It's pretty boring to be honest. It looks greyish. It's not the most beautiful game GTA 4 to be honest. It it it's a bit bland. GTA 5 uh from what I've seen uh on YouTube looks a lot more colourful. But fortunately for me since I'm on PC I get the ability to actually put in nice textures and graphics into GTA 4 via a free mod so it's really awesome that they are uh, or that Rockstar Games sort of lets us do this I don't know if it's allowed but it's not like anyone's stopping you if you're playing it offline because it's a lot of fun to have good graphics so anyway guys wait for it I'm gonna get on here but uh, the good graphics shall be revealed soon it almost looks like GTA f uh, 5 but I think the uh, player models don't look near as good. So as you can see already, uh, it does look like I've added color correction to it, but I have not. It This just is how you actually play it. The sun's a lot brighter. It's, uh, I found that it's a lot more of a bright day as well, so that's really cool. And the cars look nicer, so that's definitely another bonus to be added. Uh, what else can I... Uh, say about this nice mod the sky looks amazing i've got to admit it just looks phenomenal uh the sand looks really nice for cars i think i might have said they look really shiny and it just it enhances your gta 4 experience heaps guys uh there is a known bug with this mod it is i think the uh ice enhancer mod and for the one I'm using, there is a red sky bug, but it rarely happens. I've had it to me, and you just, I guess you can restart the game, and you don't have to worry about it. Or you can just install a older version of this game, and not worry about it at all. But I think I'd have the latest and most stable version, if I were you guys. And I'll probably put a link to the website where I got it from. Uh, it's definitely good to watch a tutorial on YouTube on how to actually install the mod. I'd highly recommend uh, just backing up your entire GTA 4 folder as it 100% works if you just uh, delete the modded GTA folder and just paste your original one because it still has your saves and everything uh, but if you're gonna do some heavy modding I wouldn't really try play through the campaign because it may piss you off when you can't finish it but I think it, it's overall an awesome mod and definitely uh, should be played with doesn't go grey when you die, so that's another indication that you've installed it. And it also tells you when you first launch it. So anyway guys, see you later.